The girls and I just got home from Walmart and while we were there at Walmart, they found some kites and it is super windy today, so it's a perfect day to fly kites. This good? Yep, ready? Yeah. All right, one, two, three, let it go. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is a super busy day because I am prepping for Austin's surprise 16th birthday coming up. His birthday is actually on the 10th, but we are doing it on the 4th. So May 4th will be his surprise party. He is going to be so excited. I have had his friends help me do all of the inviting. He knows nothing about it. So I'm gonna go grab Claire and Carmen from school. We have to run to Walmart, grab a few supplies and items for this party and we are super excited. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this party. Be sure to come back because we have lots and lots of fun videos coming your way. Claire and Carmen, how was school today? Good. Good. Got anything fun or exciting to tell me? Good. Are you guys excited for your little trip coming up? You guys getting prepared for that? Kind of. Kind of? <laughs> We've picked out what groups we're gonna be in. Well, I'm excited to come help you with your field trip. Except for you only get to be in one of our groups. And I think that's the first rotation. And my first rotation is the one that I didn't really want to be in, but it was like my only choice. <laughs> oh. So, and my other one is so fun. It's like a botanist one where you get to like illustrate all like the flowers and rocks that you see. And we get to take back flowers to the school and they like microwave them into these like bookmarks. Cool. And so I wanted you to do that with me, but Dang it, I got assigned to a different group, huh? That's all right, it'll still be fun. Yeah. Maybe I could ask my teacher if a mom could help me with the first group and then my mom could help me with the second group. Maybe. I could ask my teacher that. Okay. We're gonna have like a pie party, but that's only if you read all the books and I didn't read all the books, so. I'm not gonna go, I'll just go get myself a pie. <laughs> no, it's fine, cause Jane's not gonna go either, so I'll just hang out with her on the day. <laughs> Maybe just, you could just hurry and read those books. But they, well, I have five more books to read, and it's on May 15th, 12th, and also I can just go buy my own pie, and me and Jane can just try <laughs> and eat it. So. You just have your own pie party at home? Yeah, and it's after school, so. Oh. Yeah, so it's not even like during school, so it's perfect. Okay, awesome. See We're you. good. Sounds like you guys had a good day. That's just annoying. You just have to spend more time at school. Who wants that? <laughs> Who on earth would want that? <laughs> All right, we're gonna run to Walmart really fast. Okay. Austin's party is going to be glow in the dark theme. So I am here in the party aisle looking for different glow sticks and different fun things like that. I found some balls that glow in the dark, footballs that glow in the dark, super fun stuff. So they have these really cool glow in the dark footballs. Grabbed a couple of those. I got some of these, some of these. This is gonna be an awesome party. I'm so excited for it. All right, the next thing we gotta pick out is a birthday card for Austin. We gotta find that right one just for him. Claire and Carmen, come help me pick out a card for him. You see one that says Sweet 16 or anything like that? Good news, there's a tasty little Well, Austin's like a farmer guy. Austin's like a farmer? <laughs> yeah. Think you would like that? Maybe. Happy beef day. <laughs> Tail being wagged in your honor. <laughs> birthday greetings. It's dogs marching the Imperial March. <laughs> Alright, I think we have found the perfect card for Austin. I found it. Party till the cows come home. Push the button on it, Carmen. You think you'll like it? <laughs> Austin kind of likes funny stuff like that. <laughs> I think he'll like it. Let's get this one for him. Now let's go over to the food side. We got to get soda and a couple other things. One of the things we are doing at Austin's party is a soda bar, kind of like swig, kind of like fizz type of a thing. So we're going to need a bunch of soda. I've gathered up all the syrups and all the other mixins that we need. I just need all of the pop for that. If we can find it. Yeah. They have a lot of pop. All right, we got all the soda loaded in here. I think that's enough. Hopefully, I don't know. A bunch of hungry, thirsty teenagers coming. What do you think, is that enough? Let's count, one, two, three. Plus we'll have water, so if they get thirsty enough, they can have a bottle of water. 
20. Perfect. 20? Okay, we'll grab some water too. If we had 19 then. <laughs> okay, let's go find some water. Which water should we get from? Pure Life. Nestle Pure Life? Yeah. All right, let's do those. Those are the biggest ones. That'll work. The girls and I just got home from Walmart, and while we were there at Walmart, they found some kites, and it is super windy today, so it's a perfect day to fly kites. Carmen already had hers out. I accidentally got it stuck in a tree a couple times, but we got it out, saved it. It's over here. You ready to go fly it? I'm waiting for Dad to help me. You are? I'm gonna got the baby Yoda kite, huh? Claire is out here trying to get hers to go up in the sky. We have a lot of trees around here, so we might have to go find a park that doesn't have as many trees because you run a pretty good risk of it getting stuck in a tree. We got Claire's up in the sky. There we go. We should go get our big kite. We should get the big kite. The big 3D kite, because it will definitely fly today. Yeah. It's a perfect day for flying kites. Clay has hooked Carmen's to a fishing pole. Her string was having some issues, so we had to cut it short. But I've never seen a kite flown on a fishing pole before. It's much better when you got to reel it in, right? So you don't have to just like by hand <laughs> put it around that thing. It's just much quicker with the reel. So uh, that's how we like to, like to do it. All right, Carmen, let it fly. Oh, oh, oh. I hear you when I. <laughs> All right, go back there a little bit. It just got out of hand for a second. Baby Yoda wants to fly. I know it. We are having a heck of a time getting these kites to stay in the air. I think the wind direction keeps changing on us. Yeah, it is. It's weird. We get it up, and then all of a sudden the wind changes. Baby Yoda doesn't want to fly today. It's stuck on the roof. Tight. There you go. Good job, Carm. You got it up all by yourself. Good job. Oh. Good job. <laughs> you got a fighter on there. <laughs> oh, that was fun, wasn't it? <gasps> Is it tiring? Is it funner to fight with a fishing pole? Flying the kites here in our neighborhood didn't really work out so well. Claire has tumbling tonight, and hopefully her teacher will allow me to come in and film a little bit, because I know you guys are dying to see her progression, and so hopefully I can bring you a little bit of tumbling tonight. While Terry is taking Claire to Tumbling, I've got Carmen with me. We are just headed down to my shop. I've got to pick up some tile for a job I have going. I had a customer that had one of those heated floors underneath their tile and it stopped working. And so we determined that it wasn't the electrical going to it, that it was actually the heater itself down inside the floor. So I had a guy come out from Colorado that he, I think he uses thermal imaging is what it's called. And he can pinpoint exactly where the line is broken. So he flew out today from Colorado and uh, got it all figured out, got it fixed. And I'm just coming down to grab some tile so my tile guy can get that repaired. So it was my tile guy who put it in. Uh, so it was his fault, but he's gonna take care of it. So we came down to grab that from the shop. Carmen here wants to build something real quick. What are you hoping to build, Carm? Oh, okay, all right. All right, let's head in the shop and uh, have a look. We have made it to the shop and Carmen is hungry. And luckily, the last time that we were here, Carmen wrote a note on the board, nuggets are good, from Carmen to my business partner, Scott. And he replied to Carmen, bon appetit, 
happy eating. So that means that Scott went to Costco, got Carmen her own chicken nuggets in the fridge out here. Come on, kiddo, let's go have a look. Right here. Right here? Oh, let's get them out. And then the best one to have chicken nuggets is with ketchup. With ketchup. Oh, we are in luck to have ketchup. Here we go. Foster Farms Nuggets. There we go. All right, grab a plate. We keep our uh, our plates in the fridge so they don't get sawdust on them. All right, here, I'll help you. Those chicken nuggets like a little freezer burn, but she's still gonna eat them. Do that for like two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah, All right, we'll keep an eye on them. All right, so those of you who have not seen my shop, it is a giant mess. We keep a lot of the paint over here. Very messy. Very messy right now. We have neglected it. We haven't had a whole lot of time to organize it, clean it up right now. Got some extra drawer boxes, just my uh, extra saw in here. Got a bunch of wood, it's just kind of stacked up, ready to go. We've got some tile. We have a fireplace unit that came off a job. I'm trying to sell it. I'm trying to make a little extra money doing that. Kind of got a bunch of saws set up down here, random things, but it's a mess. I've got to come down and build a cabinet with these posts right here soon. Out of some white oak. Found some tile. Kind of fun, huh? We just keep a lot of extra stuff out of the, like that we pull off the jobs right here until we get it returned. And so we've got a handful of things we need to return. But luckily we did not return this tile right here because this is the tile that we need to finish that job in Alpine that had the issue. A lot of times we leave extra tile on site, uh, but at this job we did not. So I'm glad that we still have it. Yeah, that, that tile's kind of fun, huh? What do you want to build? <laughs> so, I don't know what else to build. How can we build? Uh, we could build a birdhouse. Oh, there are my chicken nuggets. Alright, well, let's have that first. Yeah. Are they good? Nuggets are good. <laughs> Carmen is done with her chicken nuggets. We are now deciding on what to build. She has decided that we're gonna build a dog house. I'm gonna try to build it with the tools that I have here. It'd be easier if I had my trailer or the tools I've got set in my garage right now because I'm still working on that floor. But uh, we're gonna try to get a lot of the parts cut right now. We may have to take them home and assemble it at the house uh, where I've got more of my tools. How big are we talking, Carmen? Like all of our big. All of our big. And so it's gonna stay inside the house, right? Yes, and so like all of our can sleep in it. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can make it out of those right there. Then we can paint it. Does that sound good? Yeah. So, do you have any like pencils? I do have pencils. Okay. Uh, if we took one of these, we could draw out like a little like loop thing where all of our can go in, and that would be the door, and we could like cut it out. Okay. So we need like a floor, and then we have to put the two sides in the back on it, and then we'll draw a loop, cut it out, and then put it on. So I'm thinking no floor. So that way we'll just, you can just set on the floor of the house and then that'll be the floor. So it just has like sides, four sides, and then a roof. Because if we use a floor, it's gonna be crazy heavy. And these, these pieces right here are super heavy, so we gotta try to save some weight. Okay. All right, fair we enough. We could just put like blankets on the floor for all of us. Yeah, like, a, like a little pillow or something. Yeah, Perfect. okay. That's good, we don't need a floor. So this is gonna be like, well, we got multiple pieces, so we just got to decide. I think we could cut this in half, and then those could be the two sides of the roof. Like, it could go in half. Two sides of the roof? Uh, so, like, this side and this side. Okay. And that, we could cut in half, and you can just, like, triangle with them. Okay. That's what we could do. Sounds good. Or... Let's, uh, let's start off of that. Okay. All right. What? I'll hold the tape on this end. So, we have 34 and three eighths, roughly. So that means we could be about 17 and three sixteenths, roughly. Well, it's gonna be a little bit shorter because we gotta cut it like on a 45, or two angles will be able to come together to make the roof. I know, but like, I wanted a, if we drew the line here, I'm not talking about this side, I'm talking about like, if we drew a line here, it's like a book, like that would be a side and this would be a side and then we would like bend it up. That's correct, I'm thinking the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna set my saw up to where it would need to cut this in half okay. and then we'll figure out the other pieces. Okay, All right. so 
So we gotta get the blade to go higher because we're gonna cut it on a 45. So Carmen, if you turn this thing to the right, it'll raise the blade. Ready? Keep turning. This thing is heavy, Jesus. That's pretty good. All right, now we gotta turn this other handle right here. This handle, it makes the blade tilt. All right? Tell me when to stop. All right, keep going. Go till it can't go anymore. That's taking the blade. It's making this thing move right here. It is telling us what degree right here that it's at. Right now it's 22 and a half, almost 25. 25. Go, Carm, go. Go, Carm, go. Crank it. We at now? We are at 34. Is it getting hard? Yes. You need some help? Yes. All right, let me help you. That's it. So, we are gonna start cutting it. Blade back, back to straight. Take our pieces. Let's put them together. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's good. So it's gonna kind of be just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna grab my tape measure. We're gonna figure out how tall we want the sides to be. And this thing's 24 and three quarters. And so if we want like you know an inch and a half or like a two inch overhang, I would say. We would have like 21 and three quarters is what we do okay. for the length, all right? So I'm gonna write this down on the table, 21 and three quarters, okay? And then for the height, we're gonna do, I would say maybe like 16 inches. If we have a 45 degree like that, then it'll just rest on there just perfect. Okay. Because that's just annoying. Yeah, that's right. Very dusty. First triangular piece. And second piece. All right, Carmen, how wide do you think the door should be? Well, Oliver's kind of fat, so. <laughs> Oliver's a little chubby. A little fat, so we need to make it like, yeah, like this, and then like dome it around to. There. All right, I got it. So maybe I'm thinking like nine inches wide. That should give him plenty of room to get in and out. Or we could go ten. Nine. All right, let's try that. All right, so I've marked four and a half, which is half of nine. I'm gonna come down and mark this side right here. Flip this around. Go four and a half inches from center, which will give us nine. All right. All right, we found a bucket that was almost the exact width of what we want. Carmen wants to have a dome-shaped door, right? All right, so this thing's almost uh, just perfect right there. Okay. We're gonna just draw from where the, uh, here, I'm gonna let you trace it. Gonna draw from where the top of the bucket is and around. Okay. Did it go all the way around? Yep. All right, let's take a look and see what we got. Right there, how's that look? Yeah, I know, but like on the other side, will it be wider? Because Ollie can't fit through that. I think he can fit through that. Really? Yep. I think that'll work just perfect. Maybe. Do you feel like this? Do you feel like this is too tall from here to there? No, it's fine. Okay. So we're gonna have to take this piece home and cut it out with my jigsaw because I do not have it here. Okay. So I think we have all the pieces that we need. We'll load them up in the car and head on home. Okay. Here we go. Claire just finished with tumbling. I got a little bit of footage of her doing tumbling, but it's kind of hard in there. There are so many girls running around and just a lot going on. So it's hard for me to get footage of just her tumbling, but she did amazing. She's connecting her back handspring. What else did you work on today? The back walkovers are getting better. She's <laughs> laying down, trying to take a little break. She's got a headache. All that bending over with the blood rushing to your head for an hour definitely takes a, on the brain and 
gives her a headache almost every single time. But the more and more you do it, the easier it gets, the less hard it is on your body. She's doing so amazing. Claire has decided she's gonna try out for the youth cheer team this year. So those tryouts are coming up very soon. So she's working really hard to get her round off back handspring because that is required for her age group. So she's got it. I think you'll do amazing. She just has to learn a dance and a cheer before tryout. We have made it back to the house. We're just getting the pieces set out. We're getting ready to cut out this little door and I've uh, got the jigsaw set up. Yep. So do you want to cut it? Um, no. All right, you better hold the camera while I cut it. Okay. Okay, let's start cutting. You can't really see the outline, but it's there. Oh, there it is. There we go. You know what I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna cut these on the table saw instead of with the jigsaw. It'll cut those straight to there. And once I get to this point where it starts to round, I'll finish it with the jigsaw. Okay. So move the bottom piece where it needs to go to make sure it goes nice and flush with the glue. Oh, here comes. Oh, that's awesome. Can you put little windows in there so you can see what they're seeing? <laughs> I, I asked Carmen if she wanted a window. So well, we could probably still cut one in. It'd be hard to cut it perfect at this point, but we can definitely try. I can see so this one. This actually looks really good. You think all of us going to sleep in yeah. there? Maybe. It is time to put the roof on. I've got my marks on here, which is my overhang past the sides. I marked it up here, marked it down here so I can make sure this stays square as it goes on. This point right here will go to the peak, and then when this piece slides up, they will meet at the very top. And we're gonna set this thing down. Try to set it right down where it goes so it doesn't drag in the glue, which is right there. So that looks pretty good right there. Where are we gonna put this doghouse? Uh, that's up to Carmen to the side. How about in your room? Yeah, but no. <laughs> Alright, I want to slide it right up here to the peak where it meets this other piece of wood. Did you do it all by yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen helped though. Helped what? Uh, <laughs> design, right? The size of the door, how tall the door was, the shape. Did we want it too tall? Did we want it a little flatter? Here, how about I'll let you put in the final two nails. How's that sound? I don't know if I can. You can do it. Here. All right, so they gotta go nice and straight. Ready? Whoa. <laughs> there it is. Good job, Carm. Doggy house. Beautiful now, dog house. Now what I need your help with is I'm gonna cut a piece of wood and you and Claire, or even you, you can draw out with the shape of like what kind of bone you want. Okay. All right, and then I'll cut it out for you. The doghouse is coming along very, very well. Carmen had a request that she, Clay make a little dog bone to put on the doghouse. So he has cut out a dog bone for the front of this doghouse. What are you gonna write on that? Ollie pop. Ollie pop? So it's like Ollie and pop mixed. Oh, cute. Ollipop. <laughs> All right, let's give it to Dad so he can put it back on your doghouse. The girls wanted some windows, so I marked four out on each side, and then I like to take my drill and drill a hole in each corner so it makes it easier to cut with my jigsaw. So I'm just drilling those holes out right now. All right, now we got our holes all drilled. Now we can take the jigsaw and just start uh, cutting out the squares. Carmen is racing the excess pencil marks. I kind of overdrew it when I was marking out the windows. We're gonna kind of clean up the windows a little bit on the inside, and then all we gotta do is nail on the dog bone, which has got Ollie's name on it, Ollie Pop. No, it's Ollie and Poppy put together. Oh, I thought you just called him Ollie Pop, but it's for both of them, Ollie and Poppy. All right. All done with this side. Looks great. Windows aren't perfect just because I cut it with the jigsaw, but 
They're close enough. I think all ain't talking will be grateful you no matter what. The last thing we gotta do is nail on the dog bone. Carmen's gonna hold it in place while I shoot it. <laughs> Alright. Gonna put a couple more in it. There we go. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, now I have to lift it inside. <laughs> Alright, remember I said to leave the bottom out of it? Mm -hmm. You're gonna find out why right now. Can't lift it. Still can't lift it. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> It's like the world's heaviest dog house. <laughs> it's not even like for a full size dog. <laughs> it's well built. Carmen thinks this is for the dogs, but this is just so I have a spot to sleep when Terry's mad at me. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll have to talk to Ollie, make sure it's cool if I sleep in there, but at least I'll have a spot with a roof over my head still, <laughs> if, if I'm in trouble. It's true. Now, the actual trick is to see if it, we can get the dogs to go inside there, so. They've just walked by and looked at it twice now, and they're like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Ollie, but come check this thing out. <laughs> He's like, yeah, nope. Hey, go in there. Oliver's not one for cages, or Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. It's the right size, the right height for his head. Right now, come check. Oh, I'll go back in there. Get in there and give, give, give it a whirl. It's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> in and out. Hey, we're gonna have to put some like chicken wire. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Poppy has her kennel, so she can't get out. Oh, I got her to go in by herself. <laughs> Go, go. Oh, we have Ollie going. Ollie likes it. Carmen, how do you like the doghouse? Would you sleep in there? If I was small enough, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could just sleep in there with your head. You can stargaze through your little windows up top. Hello. <laughs> Oliver has never been willing to sleep in a kennel or any sort of confinement since he was a puppy, but he's loving this doghouse, so maybe he's gonna live in there for a while. Oh, no, here he comes. <laughs> just kidding. Guys, I just went to my shop to get some tile for a job, and four hours later, Ollie has a new place to call home. <laughs> Poppy has been in there a couple times as well, and uh, I don't know, I think it might stick around for a while. <laughs> might have to find a new location within the house, but I can't believe we've actually gone in there. <laughs> Maybe Carmen's room will be the new home for Terry, Oliver's Terry house. is like, I don't know if we're going to keep this, but she is now seeing how happy it's made uh, <laughs> Oliver, so it may have changed her mind. Guys, if you like this doghouse, or if you like seeing dogs happy, give this video a like, <laughs> leave us a comment, subscribe to our channel, and we love you guys. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.